Ayan, so let's continue. To write effectively, we must also get to know how to put ideas into words effectively. So how to do that? All right. First, you determine your purpose. Just like in anything, it helps to have a clear purpose so that uh, when you write, you know why you are doing it, who you are doing it for, and what's your end goal. To start, you need to brainstorm. So, sino sa inyo yung pag nagsusulat ay nagagawa muna ng outline or uh, kung hindi man yan yung Roman numerals talaga, uh, yung outline niya is just bullets or as uh, just jotting down on a piece of paper or doing a concept map or like kung ano man, write down whatever comes to your mind. So, it helps you write more effectively. You do, can do cluster. You can do clustering. So it's more for visual people. You just put the main idea on the middle of the page and then link to related ideas. You use arrows, you use lines, you do, use shapes. Yan. Another thing is writing, free writing. Write down the thesis or the purpose statement at the top and then you just write whatever comes to your mind. So it's all about being as flexible as free as you want to be yeah so write down all the ideas that flow from your uh, thesis such as questions sources um, the things not to do and others yeah you can yeah as mentioned earlier you can do concept mapping what is the topic so what are the main points and then who is your audience who is your primary audience? Who is your secondary audience? So, yeah, take note of those. Yung purpose mo in writing, the sources that you will use, and then what method will, be you, will you use to gather information? So, take note of those when you map. You can also consider, yeah, storyboarding. So, this is applicable to you guys um, from the Multimedia Arts Department because basically, yeah, and storyboarding is a tool or uh, a planning tool that we use to write our story. So here, you, you draw, you can indicate yung anong nangyayari doon, visual siya, no? So it's also a good way, later we'll discuss further what storyboarding is, how you can apply this in um, creating your stories for your new media outputs but then in writing you can also do this there's also what we call reverse outlining it's outlining after the piece has been written nagawa niyo na ba yun before if not yet try it maybe it's effective for you maybe it will be effective for you so yeah so those are some tips for you to help um, yourself write more effectively and of course afterwards you revise this is the time to proofread edit um check if there were some things that you missed and others and because um lalo na kapag online there's this online effect wherein ano susanay tayo na ay parang ano parang okay na siya kasi it's it's been on the screen already Whereas, pagka nasa paper siya, parang yung effect na parang um, ay may mali. So now, you rely on, say, uh, Grammarly or yung spell checker ni Word, di ba? So, may online effect na ganun. And also, you have to avoid informal writing styles if it's inappropriate for a particular write-up. So, if you need to be, say, more formal or, say, Depende. Depende on the purpose of the, your writing. Yeah. So, this is it for the second part of the effective writing uh, topic. I'll see you again soon.